Hi, this is Ali Arango of ArangoDigitalProduction.com and today I want to show you how to do a texture paint technique inside of Blender 2.69 so let's get started. Okay, if you're absolutely brand new to Blender I recommend you go to File, User Preferences and Input and then just select select with left click. Uh, Blender's default select is with right click and this might confuse you if you're coming from other uh, programs like uh, Photoshop or 3D Max. Okay, we have this uh, T-Rex that I model for the purposes of this uh, tutorial. And uh, normally, if you you know make up a model, this is a fairly low poly uh, model. Uh, suppose you're ready to animate, and you're like, okay, you know, I want to you know throw some textures on this and make it look a little bit better, particularly when you're dealing with something low poly like this. Normally, what you would have to do is go in and unwrap, and you know, obviously, there's a time and a place for everything. Suppose this T-Rex was something that you wanted to have in the background, though. Uh, or you know your main thing was you wanted to do an animation you didn't need particularly you know too much detail and you want to unwrap it or you know have a texture on it well this technique allows you to actually have a fairly decent texture put on without going to the worries of unwrapping it unwrapping it so here we go and I guess when I say unwrapping it I really should say manually unwrap it wrap it we're actually going to use blenders uh, smart UV project to unwrap it for us but it's pretty quick Basically what you're going to do is you're going to grab this uh, triangle here, split your window, and then you're going to click right here. You're going to go to uh, UV Image Editor. Now we're just going to go to that T-Rex. We're going to hit A to whoops, hit A to select everything. You're going to hit U, and then you're going to go to Smart UV uh, Project. Okay. Once you have this, you're going to uh, select A to select all of your UVs. You're then going to select UV here. You're, you are then going to go to uh, Average Island Scale. You're going to go to Pack Islands, and then you're going to go to uh, mi uh, Minimize Stretch. All right, and basically we want to make sure that this uh, that Blender did a fairly decent job. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a UV a UV on here, just a UV grid on here, just so we can make sure that everything uh, you know is, is for the most part fairly set up for the texture paint. Okay, and the way we're going to do that, you're going to go to uh, UV, whoops, nope, you're going to go to Image, you're going to go to uh, New Image, and uh, you are going to select right here where it says Blank, UV Grid, uh, hit OK, and then you're going to look in this menu right here, you're going to select right here, select Texture Mode, go to this menu, I'm just taking my middle mouse button and pulling, and this is our materials, and what we're going to do here is just... Uh, make this shade list just so we can see a little bit better so you're going to just select right here okay and now we can see our uh, the UV map that was put on there and basically what you're looking for is just the fact that these squares here are pretty similar to the squares there and it looks like uh, Blender's uh, UV Smart Project did a pretty decent job for us uh, along here so we should be good Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, come over to Image, and then New Im Image, and when we come in here, this used to confuse me when I first started uh, dealing with the, the UV Editor. See how it says color and you see black here? Don't let this confuse you. When you click in here, you move the slider up, and now you have your color. Now to me, it seems like it would make more sense to start up with it up. You can see your color, but whatever. So now you're just going to pick a, a base, uh, uh, you know, uh, color. We're going to select OK. Okay, and then what we're going to do is you're going to go to Image, Save Image As, and I'm just going to make up a quick folder here. Images. I'm going to name this uh, Final Text. Our final texture, save as. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, pull this out so we can see it. You're going to select right here in your active data button. And this is the uh, texture map that we're currently on. We're going to name this final texture. 
Okay, now what you want to do is make sure that you can see whatever model you have. So for my T-Rex here, I just want to make sure I'm on the, that I can see the full image of it. Now I'm going to make a second texture, and this second texture is the main thing that's going to allow us to easily put on this uh, this texture mat that you're going to see. So you just click this uh, plus button here, and then we're going to name this uh, texture paint source. And now with that selected, what we're going to do with that, you know, put in and in this second UV texture map made, you're going to hit U and you're going to go to project from view. Okay, when I modeled this T-Rex, I modeled it knowing that I was going to do this tutorial. So the image source is going to be pretty, uh, pretty close to uh, this, this T-Rex we're about to get. So just keep that in mind if you're, you know, going through something similar like this for yourself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find an image source that we're actually going to use the texture paint to paint onto here. So we're going to go to image, open image, I have it over here, there we go. Okay, find your image, we're going to bring that in. Okay, so here is the image source that we're going to use and now here is the, the, uh, the UV. So what I'm going to do now is hit S to scale on the uh, Y axis, whoops. I'm just going to hit G to move this into place. And I'm going to hit S to scale. Hit an S and X to scale a little bit on the uh, X axis. G to move it in position a little bit. And, I'm going to hit shift and space just so I get a full screen for a second so I can have a little bit of an easier view to see. So I'm going to hit S to scale on the, uh, whoops, S to scale on the Y axis, G to move this a little bit more into position. I'm going to hit S to scale on the X axis. S to scale on the Y. G to move. Okay. Now I'm going to hit shift space to go back. Okay. And now what you want to do is go to image, uh, save as image. Make sure this texture is saved. This next part is very important. What you want to do is make sure that you have, uh, make sure that you are in your, uh, you know, you're selected on your texture paint source before you go to texture paint. So you're going to select here, go to texture paint, and now with texture in the texture paint mode, basically what's going on here is you want to go to this brush. This is a draw brush. You want to select here and select the uh, F clone brush. You're going to come down, okay, and you're going to go look for uh, your clone from UV uh, paint selection, put a check mark here, and then select the uh, texture paint source. And then over here on this UV map, you're going to change this back to finer, final texture. And now with this selected, watch this. And I absolutely love this because I think it is, yes, it is awesome. Okay, you got that? Looks, you know, nice flat and pink. Watch this. Boom. Lovely. Quick and lovely. And basically with this texture paint, it allows, you know, like I said, you can very quickly. And, and the thing is, is we didn't do any manual uh, UV unwrapping. I mean, this was unwrapped for us. Pretty cool, very cool. And when you have, uh, you know, little imperfections, and obviously, you know, I'm going fast, you know, for the tutorial, uh, uh, 
but where you have the imperfections and mess ups, like we have all that right there. Basically, what you would do, open this up wider so you can see. What you're going to do is come and uncheck this clone from UV map. And now, like, see this underbelly here? So now what we're going to do is, basically, to, to change the, uh, the size of your cursor, if you hit the F key and drag out, it'll get bigger. Hit F and push in, it'll get smaller. Uh, if you ever used a Photoshop uh, clone shop, clone tool or GIMP clone tool, this works very similar. And how that works is you hold Control, select an area, and basically what Blender is going to do is it's going to sample from this area. So wherever we paint, it'll put that uh, that selection. So now we're literally where this cursor is at, wherever we click here, it's painting that selection. So we're able to, you know, come in here and, and fill in this uh, underbelly stuff fairly easily. And it, you know, it's pretty amazing. I mean, we're doing all this stuff in 3D. We're also doing all this stuff again without manually uh, having unwrap this. And you know, of course, that you know, the more time you put into it, you know, obviously the better results you'll get. Yeah, and I mean you can uh, you can also uh, once you come out of this you can put other colors. I mean you can do like a regular uh, painting actually over this. So I mean you can you can work on your shadows, your your highlights, all that. I just uh, I think it's it's awesome that you know fairly fairly simple. And again, I'm trying to go quick here. But yeah, if you need a you know if you're working on something and you need something done pretty quick. Uh, you know, again, one of the nice things with Blender is if you're, uh, you know, and Blender, if you're working on a, a team of people, uh, you know, if you're doing something and you're in 3D Max, whatever, you have to have the programs and, uh, you know, you have to have it on each computer, deal with all that. I mean, Blender, it, it's nice. It's a fairly quick download. I mean, you can easily spread Blender, Blender around, you know, fully legally. And even if you have someone that doesn't have, you know, you know, a super great amount of skill or, or 3D. I mean, my gosh, if they can, you can, you know, show them this technique, maybe, maybe even, uh, you know, show them a tutorial and, you know, they're pretty much off and running. And that's so, you know, my purpose of showing you this tutorial is I want you to get the, you know, basic idea of how it how it goes and the fact that it's uh it's fairly simple to do. It's it's pretty cool. Okay guys, that's it for the tutorial. And uh, hopefully you got something from this. Now you know how to do some uh, clone texture painting inside of Blender. Uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.